Hi, I'm Barbara Brackman up here in the corner. And there is a picture of the theoretical me and my encyclopedia of peace quilt patterns. AccuQuilts asked me to give you a little history about one of their dyes, the tree of life. And I am certainly glad to do it as quilt history is always my favorite thing to do. Uh, we're gonna talk about their dye, the tree of life. It's kind of a majestic tree, a very tall tree and uh, has lots of triangles in it, which of course would be problematic unless you had a go cutter that's gonna cut all those triangles for you. It's um, an interesting pattern in that I've never seen it actually published as a pattern, but I have seen two quilts in the design. And both of them are after 1880 or so, when these trees made of triangles were quite popular with people and with magazines or printed patterns. But as I say, I haven't found that pattern yet. It was given the name Tree of Life by Carlton Safford and Robert Bishop, who wrote a book about quilts uh, in 1974, 50 years ago almost. And they had seen one. So here is the one that they saw in a private collection. Now the book in 1974 was mostly black and white prints uh, of the quilts. So we don't really know what colors this was. Uh, it's very simple, block, paste, block placed on point, alternating with plain blocks, which is a good way to keep those trees all in a nice orchard. But I have seen a second one. And at first I thought this was the same one, but you can see in this one, the trees, some of them go upside down, some of them go right side up. And our guess is always that uh, people could view this from the side in bed and they'd have trees going north and south. Um, so those really aren't upside down as we might say. This one was by Rachel Watts Bergman found in the Iowa Quilt Project. And she probably made it again after 1880 maybe into the 20th century. She did live until 1932. And people were still um, using these kind of old fashioned solid colors into the 30s, especially older people who weren't gonna go out and buy all those newfangled new dress prints. So if you're interested in making one, this is definitely the way to go is to have a go cutter with a die because there are a lot of triangles there. There's a lot of possibilities that they show you how to how to set it, Anita Amador sent it uh, as a small quilt with an alternate star block. And that would be a great way to uh, set the whole thing if you wanted to make a larger quilt. You've got all the triangles and all the pieces cut for you. And the only job you have is to try and keep those triangles straight. And as you can see up here, uh, the woman who made the one that was in the Severn Bishop book had a little trouble more than one block. It's not her deliberate mistake <laughs> to, to please God. We don't think there's much to that story. She just had a real hard time keeping those triangles straight. So don't, don't you uh, have the same problem. Get all your triangles going the right way and you will be very happy with your, with your tree of life quilt.